Previously on Game of Thrones. My father is planning to make a move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans, because you have a traitor in your council. He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. North Grove? That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? I hope I didn't make a mistake in trusting you. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. I will tell my father our betrothal stands. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Vesca! Ah! Ah! Are you gonna be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? Don't think this is over, Roderick! The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first. Like a pig. I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and... and we fought and... So you struck him down and left him to die. You tried to lie about what you did to get here. But we both know you had blood on your hands. But now, you've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. You won't execute me. With Mance Raider coming, the Night's Watch needs all the men it can get. Honest men. Loyal men. Not brother killers. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger! I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. 
My relief was late, so I stayed behind. Yeah, he was there. Then go on. What did you see, boy? Garrett's telling the truth. Brit attacked him. Just like he said, Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. Some deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for... for some reason I can't fathom. That's impossible! Finn can't stand me! Because you're a fucking squire who thinks you're better than everyone! Enough! Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go! I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Brosfinger! What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusty's. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrett. You told me you wouldn't get into it with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrett. I thought you were going to be by my side at Craster's. But there's no coming back from this. This isn't right. Brit's the murderer. Frostfinger has this all wrong. Yet Brit's the one who's dead. You knew what your vows meant when you took them. But John... I'm sorry, Garrett. There's nothing more I can do. We're down a man, so keep your eyes open. Now let's move. Seems even your mother's abandoned you. Won't be alone for long, though. The Axeman will find you soon enough. Do you know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. Especially those who seek to waste my time. I wouldn't lie to you. You have my word. Your word means nothing. Not when it is so easily bought. Oh, shit. Are you frightened? I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. Viseron. He's, uh... He's much smaller than the other one.
Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Not a good idea, sir. You're brave, at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. You're asking for proof. I have this. Drogon. How did you get that? What have you done to him? If you've hurt him... Hurt him? He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. The men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Why did you come here? You offer me nothing but lies. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? What do you want from me, Asher Forrester? With your permission, I want to hire a contingent of the Second Sons. I need them to help me fight for my family back in Westeros. The Second Sons? Has your reason failed you? Please, if... I also came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. We both want the same thing here. To liberate Marine, to see you take the Iron Throne. That's what I want too. If you really believe that, you'll understand why I cannot help you. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself... You have nothing more to offer me, Croft. You may leave. But, That's but it. Your Grace. See them out. Beska knows the city better than anyone, Your Grace. What the hell, Asher? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the Second Sons? Guide them into Marine. I can't, Asher. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? We'll help you free the city. If you'll just consider what I've asked. We can talk about that after the slaves have been released from their chains. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger... I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. I told you I didn't want to go back to Marine. What the hell was that? 
What's the problem with you and Marine, anyway? It doesn't matter now, does it? Beske. Get your armor patched up in here. Extra bedrolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. Long time since we had a piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Nail! We got two more! It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You got the best of Griff last time. When he comes looking for revenge, do you think you can beat him? He'll be angry, looking for revenge. It sounds like you'd prefer if Roderick stayed down in the mud. No. Next time I face Griff, it will be the last. I won't let him parade around my halls any longer. I look forward to it, my lord. But you won't win a fair fight. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Roderick! Let's try it again. Now that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. Oh. <sighs> My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena. She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I hear we're to become sisters. Talia. Roderick. Can I speak with you? Privately. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. I've missed you, Elena. <laughs> I've missed you too. Truth be told, you're the only one I can turn to. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father you were disobeying Griff's authority and... And he wanted to teach you a lesson. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I end Albatrothal and marry his son, Griff, instead. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, we'd be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant pig-eyed prick! I still can't believe Father agreed to it. Elena, we're in this together. I won't let this happen. I knew you'd help. But my father won't listen. I'm not gonna be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not gonna be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. And so have I. You'd murder a man to prevent your marriage. I know Griffith's horrible, but to go that far... You don't know what it's like, Roderick. 
You get to decide what you want to do and who you want to be. I'm expected to have my life decided for me. You wouldn't have to do it yourself if you didn't want to. We have a way around that. You brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. This could help both of us. White will still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. Will you help me? I'll do it, if it really is the only way. I'm afraid it is. Thank you, Roderick. I knew you'd come through for us. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Quip. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? You don't know how much this means to me. To us, I should say. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide-and-seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I love you, Helena. I love you too. I can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. <laughs> For all I of one she'll hour. Marry his brother too. <laughs> not to I mention put Cersei and her. Jaime. Oh, shh. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. What is it, Tom? Remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick? About Whitehill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud Whitehill. Lud Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't know what. I bet it's one of those Ironwood merchants. Lord Morgren and Lord Andros. It's hard to say. Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? Well, whatever you decide, do it soon. It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you.
Hey, what are you doing out here? There's leftover honey cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. That the one who killed Brit? He's not going anywhere. Come on. Or you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. Move it. Won't budge. Garrett! Cotter, what are you doing here? I heard him talking. You're to be executed in the morning. What about Finn? He told Nobody them... Nobody believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. Or you'd be executed too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Well, what kind of friend would I be if I left you to die here? So I'm getting you out of here. I don't want to hear any complaining. All right. I'm not sure I believe you. What? Why are you really doing this? I wasn't lying, Garrett. Well, well... There is another reason. I want to go with you to the North Grove. You know I can't stay here. I'm leaving Castle Black, but I'd rather not go it alone. So if you're going north, I'm coming with you. Well, I'm not going anywhere unless I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it'll work. It's rusted a bit inside. I can try, but... May not do any good. There's a loose stone over here. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. It's not moving though. Keep trying. Let me see what I can do. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. That might be useful. Garrett, what are you doing? Getting out of here. I can see it. It's coming loose. I'm gonna try to push it out. You pull, all right? I hope no one heard that. Hey, can you fit through? I think.
Aren't you two idiots lucky I'm not Frostfinger? Thought you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd try something like this. It worked, didn't it? Oh, Finn. Am I glad to see you. I'm the sword in the darkness. Help me a fellow brother keep his head. You'll need this. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you think he's gonna do when he hears you've run off with potato fucker over here? I'd rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. You know that. Yeah, good at starting them anyway. You'll need another blade at your side. Having another ranger along couldn't hurt. Till he stabs you in the back. We'll talk later. Move! There's no turning back now. We're deserters, for sure. We're breaking our vows. I've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty, too. Words don't mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. Or worse. My family back home is counting on me to put things right. And I mean to do it. Vows aren't going to stop me. They know we're gone now. Then how fast can you run? <laughs> 